Hey guys, Rich Pacini, your YouTube vlog and creator here. If this is the first time you hit my YouTube channel, I just want to say welcome. And I hope you guys will stick around to hear what I have to talk about. <laughs> uh, that's my switching unit over there. In case you guys don't know, I got the switching unit over here. As you can see, I'm working over here. I got to get some more keys here. I got to fill it up. But uh, just in case you guys are wondering, this is the Stream Deck XL and this is the Stream Deck Plus. Uh, that's the new edition I added here. So uh, I had no fancy equipment here. What you see here is what I have. That's it. There's nothing here. This is my, uh, my layout here. Plus, I'm using five webcams where I could switch around. I know people say, five webcams? What do you need all that there for? Uh, I think it's nice to switch between scenes. You know what I'm saying? You go to different scenes and stuff like that. So, um, you know. I got to work on the uh, you know the adjustments on my cameras and stuff like that there you can see here's my white screen back here and here's my split screen here I can do all of that there see? so uh, yeah and that's all done uh, with this program I use a free program called um, split cam um, if you have a powerful computer system which I don't <laughs> it would work a lot better you know the switching you wouldn't see that hesitation there but there's ways to work around that as well so uh, you could always just, when you're doing your video editing software, you could just cut it out. And before we get started with that, before we get more into it, this is what I'm using right now to, uh, I should say, edit this video. It's Femora 12. For those who know, I love Femora 12. I've been using it for years now. Um, just a little, throw a little disclaimer out there, folks. Nobody from, uh, from Moorhead contacted me to do this little segue with them. Uh, I'm doing this on my own behalf because I do love the program. I love the new stuff that come out, the new added features uh, each time you do updates. So uh, it's no problem with that. And just to show you this here too, it's a little information about chat. They've been adding this to it as well now. See so this here. It says, unleash your creativity uh, potential with ChatGBT in Femora 12. Um, I will drop the links below for the CSO if you guys want to read more into it there. I get emails from them. I'm a, a licensed uh, user of their product. So, you know, for me, you know, it's I'm not doing anything wrong. Just let you guys know. But um, I will drop the link so you can check it out for yourself, okay? Um, for more, really, go, as far as I'm concerned, they really go out of their way to uh, not only to promote their product, but to also aid and assist you when it comes to uh, making better videos. So if you never really tried it out, it's a free download. What do you got to lose? And while we're on the topic of uh, chat GPT here, this story came out. I will post this uh, link on here. I'll give you the links to all of these here, by the way. And you can read more about it. This is from Fox News. Um, this came out today. Today, I always have to throw the dates in it. Today is April 26, 2023. And this story came out, well, roughly four hours ago. So when you read it, it'll probably be a lot later, right? in a day, whatever. And it says over here, OpenAI says, uh, ChatGBT feature letting users disable the chat history is now available. You could read it, check it out, and stuff like that there. They'll give you more information about it. If you hit the continue reading, uh, you'll get a little more insight on how to go about doing this here, what it's all about, okay? Uh, don't worry, I will drop the links below so you guys will be able to check it out at your own leisure okay what I want to talk to you guys about is you have a video that you put out and you want to share it to uh, other social media platforms well you can and I'm going to show you right now but let's let's let me bring this to your attention how I got to why I'm doing this video so what you're going to do is from your home page this is my YouTube channel you're going to go to your videos over here you can see this video here I want to promote right here right and it's the YouTube shorts that I did this one the other day all right and if you come over here you'll see all these little icons here this is for details your analytics your comments your monetization and you got these little three these options here you could check out at your own you got the same thing but when you go to TubeBuddy and you look at all the features that have now mind you I have the free version so with the free version you don't get all the perks for it okay but this is this one I'm bringing to see attention so you could show you a workaround it's only for this one well in this particular case but I'm going to show you how, how you post to other social media platforms okay all right so let's say over here for example we're in TubeBuddy right and we're going to click over here and as you can see it says publish video to Facebook now I have a couple Facebook groups, but I'm going to leave it just the way it is. This is one just for test uh, purposes. This says shop RJ Pacini for great deals because I am an eBay seller as well. And if you hit the little pull down arrow, it'll give you another one. Here, my, there it is, Richard J. Pacini, but I'm not going to post this to myself because I already have it there. But let's say I want to post it to this particular site. And you go over here, it says select the video file, which, you did, which I did. And you're going to sit over here, you hit this button here, it says post to 
Facebook, right? You're going to get this message. Sorry, you can't publish to Facebook with the starter license. Unlock the feature and you may, with many more, with the star higher license, you could upgrade now. Now, with that, with upgrades, for those who know, um, I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur. I don't want to pay monthly if I don't have to. So here's the work around that there, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to go over here to this video, all right? This one here is a YouTube short. You're going to click it on. <clears throat> And then when you open it up over here, when you get to this video details, you're gonna go to the video link itself. Okay, so we're gonna pause this here. And what you're gonna do is, whoops, if I can pause it, here we go. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here where it says share. Okay, uh, 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 now we got to another one here. No, we wanna share my video. Okay, let's try this again, sorry guys. All right, so you're gonna click over here, share. And then right over here, you're gonna see all the other media platforms, Facebook, Reddit, Pinterest, Tumblr, Twitter. And then you click it over here, you're going to mix. You got this other one, LinkedIn, and so on and so forth, Live Journal, whatever. So you've seen when I was at TubeBuddy, I was unable to do that. Okay, I couldn't post from TubeBuddy. But when you go directly to YouTube, which I'm in YouTube right now, and you click on Facebook, here's the video, right? This one I just showed you. And you could add a comment over here. It'll tell you, say something here. I don't have to say it right now because it's going to do it for test purposes. And right over here where my mouse cursor is moving, you say, post to Facebook. Now, for the of you out there, might say, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, no, it works. Trust me. I'm going to close over here. And then I'm going to open up my Facebook. I'm going to open up another window here. And I'm going to open up Facebook. And this is the one for my YouTube channel. And voila, there it is, right there. Okay? Cut and dry. And you could do that for all the other ones. You could do it, and I probably have two of these here, right? Yeah, because <laughs> I was doing a test run on it there. Well, I'd have to do a test run just for, you know, just prepping it for you guys here. So, and again, if you could always, if you do have one there, you could just move it to the trash and just get rid of it like that. And Because you don't need two of them there, see? And what I do is, folks, to be truthfully honest with you, every time I do a video, I post it to my Facebook group. I always did. I, I post it to all of them, to Twitter. Like, if we go to my Twitter account here, you can also follow me on Twitter if you choose to do so. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see it's there as well. Okay, I believe in posting it whenever you. I did one of my YouTube videos, uh, shorts. Advertise the heck out of your YouTube channel. Go whatever platform you could do: Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. I'm on TikTok as well. Uh, Tumblr. Well, no, Tumblr. I have a little problem with Tumblr when it comes to YouTube Shorts. It doesn't go out there. They give you, tell you, put like a code in there. Tumblr. I can't do it on with the Shorts. With the regular long form videos, I could post to Tumblr as well. But I promote my videos on all the social media platforms. And if you, especially if you're a new YouTuber, you want to get that word out there. And folks, you know, don't hesitate to take that iPhone out or whatever phone, your Android, and do a TikTok video, Instagram. I'm on Instagram as well. Promote your videos, man. Put them out there. Let the, let the world know what you're doing out there, you know? Uh, so that's what I'm saying. So that's the workaround, basically, I want to share with you guys. Um, you know, and if you get it, if you got a takeaway from it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. And if you want to be updated when I post the new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. I'm the YouTube vlogger and creator here. I'm also an online reseller. I sell on eBay, so maybe times I'll be doing the reselling news or Let's Talk eBay segment. So if you're interested in that there, and uh, you know, hopefully you like the content I put out. I hopefully you like me. Uh, so I would hope that you know you could you know check me out on time from time to time. Hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell notification icon if you want to be updated when I post any videos. Um, on this YouTube channel, folks. Um, you know, for a lot of people, they may say, let me make me bigger over here, guys. Um, like I told my other videos, I, I like, I believe in spice, the variety of life. I like to keep my YouTube channel an open platform. And I talk about different things. Now, some people may bake to differ. They'll say, well, you know, it's good to stick with one niche because you start going all over the place. You might lose viewers' uh, interest and stuff like that. But, folks, let's be realistic. I mean, you know, there's only so much you could talk about one particular topic. Um, I do like, you know, talking about different things. I like to share different things. I do some how-tos, do it yourselves and on occasion. Not too much, but I think it's, I think it's for me as a YouTuber, I've been on this platform now since, what, 2013? Was it make it 10 years or 19 years now? Um, I love it. I love YouTube. You know, I, my 
hat here. <laughs> on the back of my hat, it says, watch me on YouTube, right? Uh, but I don't wear this in public all the time because, you know, it's not that I want people to uh, ask me about my YouTube channel. I just, I don't, you know. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they did, if they'd find out. But I'm not one of those YouTube celebrities like Mr. Beast or Casey Nace that they where you know, they got a familiarity, a familiarity can't even say the word right now, um, where people say, say, I know who you are, you know. Like, I was watching one of Casey Nace that's uh, videos there when he came back, he moved back from California to New York. And, you know, he's got a big following and the millions of subscribers and people, hey, Casey, they say, you know, who he is, you know. But um, you got to start somewhere, right? So, uh the thing I want to say, though, is is when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, folks, as I said it before and I'll say it again, when it comes to starting a YouTube channel, keep it real, keep it original, and let your channel grow organically. Um, the other thing I want to talk about really quick, just to throw this out there, because I've been doing a lot of research on my YouTube channel, and plus I hear from other YouTubers out there, um, people are getting like mixed signals about using YouTube Shorts. Uh, they're not good. They are good. Uh, they don't really do anything much for your YouTube chat. I, I don't know. I mean, everyone's got their own opinions, and you know, they take things in stride. How they? That's how they look at. It, okay, maybe it's not working for them, but it might work for somebody else. It's working for me right now. I have to honestly say, folks, to be truthfully honest with you, um, I've been doing YouTube shorts now for you know for quite some time. Not enough for years, of course, but I did put you know a few. There's quite a bit out there, and some of them. <clears throat> They uh, got a lot of views, you know, and uh, I got subscribers from them too as well. So uh, I think it's a good, I, I think a YouTube short, even though it's only a minute long, it's a good intro to, uh, it's like it's like watching a movie, you know, you're going to watch a, a pre-coming, you know, the coming attractions of a movie. It's basically, that's what I use it for. Um, I mean, I started doing the YouTube shorts. You know, using it to also give some good information and tips and tricks out there, tips and tricks on how to become a better YouTuber. Um, I think it's another thing. It's like preview of coming attraction. Uh, it's good to like do a YouTube short. Uh, you could do a video if you're just starting out, especially if you're a new YouTuber. You know, you could just talk a little about it, use it as an intro feature. You know, and if you're busy, if you got a nine to five job where you say, "Well, I don't have the time to do long form videos," try the shorts. Go with the short. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. In conjunction, you can even use it with your regular, unless you want to start a whole channel. I heard some people are doing that now. Some people will start, um, you know, a YouTube channel uh, for shorts. Just have that, just a YouTube channel for shorts. You know, so you have two channels, whatever. I have a couple of channels. Two are pretty much active. This is the main one, and then the other one, Shop RJ Pacine for great deals. That's for my eBay business, you know, and if I'm going to run things, if I'm going to run, you know, like if I'm going to do promos or ads on there, I'll do it on that channel there too. Sometimes I do demo demo videos, sneak peek videos, and intro videos. Um, you know, I might say, well, why don't you just keep it on this channel? Uh, there are occasions I do cameos with this here, where I might do a video, you know, showcasing what I'm selling on eBay. Um, I know people might say it sounds like you contradict yourself. You're saying it's nice to have a variety of on your videos, you know, on your YouTube channel. But with certain things, it's like a yes and no. It's like a hit or a miss type of thing. Um, I don't mind throwing little excerpts out there uh, with my main channel because this is a channel I want to grow. I would love to see this thing hit the hundred thousand subscriber mark. I'd like to see it hit the million subscriber mark. That'd be a great achievement uh, if I could ever get those two things accomplished. But it does take time, and. Um, you got to experiment. That's another thing too. I, I follow, like I said, I do follow other YouTubers out there, successful ones that have millions of subscribers, even hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And like they'll tell you, some of them who I follow will tell you, starting a YouTube channel is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It is, it's comp very competitive. Um, and you're competing with a lot of other um, YouTubers out there that have basically the same similarities in some things. But the thing is, is to stand out amongst the rest of these uh, YouTube creators out there. And that's the hard part. And I said in my other video, one of the biggest challenges I have is coming up with new content. And I think a lot of YouTubers out there may agree, well, some may agree to disagree, and that's fine. But for the most part, I speak for myself, I would say that's pretty much the, 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 the part that gets me going, is coming up with new content. And that's why, Going back to again where I said uh, spice the variety of your life, it's nice to keep your channel an open platform. If you want to run multiple channels, that's great. Kudos to you. Um, I find it hard just to do one. You know, you're maintaining one channel. I can't fathom the idea of doing uh, a whole bunch of other channels. I mean, it's it gets to be too much. And plus, I want to do a I have a podcast 
that I'm starting. And as you know, uh, for those of you who don't, maybe you're familiar or you don't know, whatever, uh, YouTube's got this thing about podcasting now. So uh, they seem like they want to promote that, put that out. Podcasting seems like it's becoming a very popular thing now, you know. Um, and it is good, you know, it's good. Now, the podcasting I do uh, with my podcasting uh, is, is uh, hosted by Anchor FM. And if I don't forget, I will drop that link down below and you can check them out as well or just do a podcasting on YouTube as well. So uh, that's something to look into. But again, you know, for me, for the podcasting, what I like about that, I would Anchor FM, I get a half hour. I know with YouTube, you probably get a lot longer, of course, no, no doubt. Uh, but with Anchor FM, they give me a half hour. That's the freebie stuff. <laughs> for those who know, I can, like I said, I, if I said it once before, I'll say it again. I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur. The less monthly expenses I have, the better I like it. So um, if you want to start a podcast, like I said, I will drop the link below. You can check them out or just do your podcast on YouTube, you know. But for the most part, though, if you're starting out as a new YouTuber out there, and this goes out to the new YouTubers out there, I think that's starting a channel, stick with one for now. Okay, if you're going to, you know, feel the waters, so to speak, and you want to start a regular channel, like let's say main channel, like this is my main channel, and you want to try dabbling in with some YouTube shorts and you want to start a YouTube shorts channel, go for it. But I highly recommend starting out, stick with one channel for now, because it's it's good. it's a lot of work. It is. And then editing, you know, let alone creating the, the uh, video, then the editing part comes in. And, you know, it can be very frustrating too because if you don't know uh you know how to edit properly with this stuff with the new stuff like i said filmora and this like i said earlier no one had contacted me from filmora i've been using them for years i actually i've been using filmora since the uh when i when i got involved with it, it was the 8.76 version and i loved it back then so i think it's user friendly and if you want to create great videos and they keep adding more and more to it you really you got nothing to lose but everything to gain by just trying it out. Try the free download, okay? Try it. What do you got to lose? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I, I, like I said again, I've been using them for years and I love them. So uh, especially if you're a new YouTuber, you might want to go that route. I know they got the other one. It was Adobe Pro whatever. They got one over there where you got to pay monthly for it. And uh, if, you're looking for, if you're looking for a video editing software and you got the budget for it, go for it. But that's really... Uh, I think it's really intense. The learning, you got a, a high learning curve with that there. Uh, in some cases, I don't think it's that quick and, and easy to pick up. Excuse me, folks. Hmm, getting dry mouth just talking to me about this stuff. Um, but anyway, that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys. If you have any comments on this video or there's something you want me to discuss or talk about, whatever, or there's something you want to, you know, correct me on, please do. <laughs> Um, is I don't mind respond to comments as long as they're nice if they're nasty I will just remove them and that's it. You know plain and simple um, I'm not gonna you know, I don't do videos to you know have people uh, Berate me or barrage me with uh, nasty words or anything like that nothing ever happened But you know, I'm not gonna respond to it So if <laughs> people got that intention to uh, you know come on my YouTube channel and you know say disparaging things or whatever in regards to my videos or me personally um, I don't, I'm not gonna get into a debacle with anybody you know no cyber war here I'll just remove it and just move on and that's the other thing I want to say too when it comes to creating a YouTube channel uh, first starting out you might see very little to no views or little to no subscribers don't let that bother you stay away from the naysayers that say it'll never work it'll never happen um, don't believe those people like I said I'm living proof Yes, my channel is a is it growing in leaps and bounds? No, it's not, but it's growing. Okay, um, so I got I hit over the, the thousand mark. You know, I met the thresholds from uh, YouTube, so I have the four thousand hours of watch time, and I have the over thousand. You know, I have the thousand subscribers over now, thanks to you guys out there for you know supporting me by you know uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. So I do really appreciate what you guys do. I really do, and taking the time to check out my videos. Uh, but I always say too in some of my videos. Nice. Some of them, pretty much most of them. Um, the most important thing when it comes to creating a video is to um, get a takeaway from it. That is the most important thing. I cannot stress that enough for people to get a takeaway from my videos. You know, I'm saying even if it's a little tidbit of information, you know, um, that's really important to me. It really is. And you know, I 
you know, I appreciate the thumbs up. If people want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be great, you know. Uh, I'm not saying my videos are uh, motion picture, or, you know, or production, whatever, videos. Like, uh, they're the greatest things that, you know, you've ever seen. But I am trying, you know, I am dabbling around with the video editing software, like I said. And uh, that's another thing, too. Um, if you're going to uh, use a video editing software, master in that particular, you know, master, you know, in that one particular uh, video editing software, learn everything you could about it. Uh, I know people that they use different video editing software. Um, I'm not really one for it. I do have another sort of program I do use on occasion. Uh, it's called Cyberlink Power Director 20 Ultimate. Um, I bought that a while back, and it's a good software. It's a good software program. Um, but I have to honestly say, you know. I do love Filmora. I've been using them a lot more than that program. Matter of fact, I'd say 99.9% uh, .9 of the time I've been using Filmora. So, um, yeah, the other one's good. I'm not knocking it. I mean, it's it's a good program, uh, the Power Director. It's uh, by Cyberlink. Um, I've been using them for years as well. You know, before I got, you know, I found out about Filmora, and uh, I started liking Filmora. I said it's more, you know, user friendly. Uh, the power direct is good, uh, you know, but it's a little more involved. You know, I think it's more like uh, it, let's put it this way: it's got a different learning curve to some point, you know. But it all depends how people grasp the information, how they learn. You know what I'm saying? Some people like pick up things at their own pace. Let's put it that way, okay? Um, and the more you do it with repetition, you know, come to experience with it. Like it's like anything else. It's like when you're going for a job. You know the old OJT, right? On the job training. As time goes on, you get better and better at it. You know, so um, that's all I can tell you about that part. There, as far as uh, video editing software, master one instead of a whole bunch of other ones. Because I know people out there that do it. They, oh, I use this. I use this one here, and I use this particular particular video editing software. And everybody's using all these different video editing softwares. You know, I mean, it's okay. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. You know, that's fine. You know, but uh, I mean, I like to stick with the one. All right. Um, rather than me keep rambling on here, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, if this is the first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to say, again, thank you for checking it out and hearing me out here. If there's anything you want me to talk about or you want to comment on this video, uh, please, you know, please do it. Keep it nice. <laughs> I would, you know, I, will, I do respond to nice comments. And um, that's basically it, guys. I will talk to you the next time. And as I like to always say in closing my videos, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel or you already have an established YouTube channel, I am wishing you guys all the best of luck and the best of success. Keep at it. Put those videos out. Share them with the YouTube community. Share them with the world because we all have talents and passions we could share. And I'm sure there's people out there going to want to see them. I know if you have videos that you want to share and drop it the links on my my your channel here please do you're more than welcome to uh, i'd love to see them i'm sure a lot of people love to see what you have to offer so keep putting those videos out this is rich bassini signing off i'll check you guys out soon bye bye for now